ויהו משנה ו'. משנה ז', נקסט משנה. Oh, this is another problem that we didn't discuss before. So let's discuss. העושה בשבת אוהל קבוע חייב משום בונה. Anybody makes a structure, a permanent structure, permanent tent, permanent covering on Shabbat is obligated because of bone. He's building, he's building a building, he's building a tent, he's building a roof, he's building a sukkah, whatever it is. לפיכך, he says, therefore the rabbis came and said, tell you, אין עושים בשבת אוהל הרי. He says, don't make, even, make a covering even if it's a Yeah. No, if it's a, even if it's a temporary covering, don't make. Because who knows, once he, I'll make you make a temporary covering, you say, eh, between temporary and full, it's a small uh, distance. Kegon, for example, so what are you not allowed to do? Lifros machzelet al arba mechitzot. You've got four uh, walls, and you want to put a blanket on top for shade. Like a roof. Like a roof, you want to put a blanket on top for shade. גזרה שמא יעשה עול קבוע. So you don't have to do that, even though it's not permanent, it's not boine, you don't have to, if you, one does it, it doesn't have to be in the sacrifice, by mistake. But the rabbi says, don't do it. ברם, להוסיף על אוהל ארעי בשבת, but to add on a אוהל ארעי on שבת, you all, you will be allowed to. I'll give you an example, that a lot of people have And they actually, that's the halacha. Um, on places where there's air roof, the women will take the kids to Shabbat, for Shabbat, to the shul. And a lot of the kids have the thing for the sun. Yeah, on top. On top for the kids. So if it's closed before Shabbat, you will not be allowed to open it because you're making an oil. You're making oh. a covering. But why does it consider part of the vessel? It is part of the vessel, but it's right now it's closed. And you're making, a, you're making another, it's, it, there's, a, there's a house and you want to put a blanket on top. So what is she doing? She's putting a blanket on top, not allowed. The rabbi says, don't do it. So he says, so what do you do? Lehosif al oil arai butar. But if she leaves it halfway through open, then she's allowed to continue the movement because to add on it is allowed. Now, This is, comes from it. כגון, שהייתה מחצלת פרוסה על הכתלים מלפני שבת. It was already on the walls halfway before שבת. ונשאר בה אוויר, but you left a little bit of space. ובאים לפתוח את כולה בשבת. Now you want to open the whole thing on שבת. So נחלקו בזה התנאים של משנתנו. There's going to be disagreement between the Tanas in our Mishnah. שרבי אליעזר סובר, רבי אליעזר סטינקס, אין מוסיפו על אוהל ארעי אפילו ביום טוב. He says you're not allowed to add on a oil ארעי, on a temporary covering, even on a יום טוב. And for sure not in שבת, ואין צריך לומר בשבת. וחכמים סוברים, את בת הסייג'ה סייז, מוסיפים על אוהל ארעי בשבת, ואין צריך לומר ביום טוב. The sage says you're allowed to do it on both, not only in יום טוב. Or even on Shabbat, you're allowed to um, add completely. In other words, if it's halfway open, continue and do it. So let's discuss now. Pkak hachalon. This, the covering for the window. Again, let, let's go back in time. Windows at that time doesn't mean glass. They didn't have glass. It was open windows. You know, by the way, even in Rome, that they manufactured glass, glass was very expensive. So even if they would put glass windows, it would be tiny windows. Yeah, because the glass, because the glass was expensive and it was hard to make. It was just, <laughs> just for light. Yeah, well, not like windows like this that we have today. They had to add wood, put it on the window when they want to close it oh, and, open, and take it away. Very it's good. So they had kaka chalon, they had a piece of wood, they would cover the opening. לוח העשוי לסתום בו את החלון. It was a piece of wood to stop, to be a stop of the window, very good. But it, we're going to see it's not the same ruling as the door. It doesn't have the same ruling as the door, we see some one. שכן, because we learned the door already. שכן בימיהם לא היו שמשות בחלונות. In their times there wasn't windows, in the, there wasn't glass in the windows. 
והיו משתמשים בלוח עץ, they would use a piece of wood, וכיוצא בו, in similar things, כדי לסתום את החלום בשל הצורך, when they needed to um, put, close the window. רבי אליעזר אומר, רבי אליעזר says, בזמן שהוא קשור, as long as you have a chain, if you have a chain from the window, from the covering to the, to the wall, for example, שהפקק קשור בחלון, it is attached to the house in some manner, ותלוי באוויר, not just a chain, and the chain makes it not be able to go all the way down to the ground. Because if it, you can take the covering and put it on the ground, the chain does nothing. It's not effective. And it's hanging now. And it's from hanging. From the window. Yeah, from the window, from the wall. Yeah. שאינו נגרר בארץ, it's not on the ground. פוקקים בו, then you'll be allowed to use it. סותמים בו את החלון בשבת. You're allowed to stuff the window with it on Shabbat. ואם לאו, but if not, אם אינו קשור, if it is not tied, או שאינו תלוי אף על פי שהוא קשור, או it is not hanging even though it is tied, אלא שנגרר בארץ, but that it is all the way down to the ground, אין פה קיקים בו, you're not allowed to use it on Shabbat. לפי שנראה כמוסיף על הבניין. Because why? Because it looks like you build it. That is nothing to do with the God. This is the rabbi says, it says people are coming and adding to the building. There's no building over there, and now you're adding to it. You're adding in pieces. So it says it looks like you're adding to the building. Vesover Rabbi Eliezer, and Rabbi Eliezer, his logic is, Ein mosifim al oil arai b'shabbat. He says he disagrees with the previous Mishnah. The previous Mishnah says that if you have a halfway oil on Shabbat, you're allowed to add to it. Rabbi Eliezer says, I disagree with this concept, you're not allowed to add to it. So as long as it's part of the house, how do you show it's part of the house? Tied to the house. Then you can do it. But if it's not tied to the house, you're not allowed to use it, because you're adding something on Shabbat. Kmo Shebe'anu. Ve'chachamim omrim. Chachamim says, nonsense. What are you talking about? This is the sages. It says, ben kach uven kach. Look, if you ever used it before, that's the way you use it. Yeah? Keep using it. Ben kashur, ben shein no kashur, whether it is tied, it is not tied. Pokekim bo be Shabbat. You're allowed to use it on Shabbat. Vo'il v'aya mu'chan merem Shabbat lechach. This is the use. What are you talking about? This is what it's made for. People made it for that window. Shesovrim chachamim, because again, where the disagreement is, they are saying, mosifim al oil arai be Shabbat. You're allowed to add on oil arai on Shabbat. והלכה כחכמים, and the halacha is like the sages. By the way, another thing that I just thought about it, that we do. Those things, the mechitza, if it's not open a little bit on Shabbat, maybe it's a problem to build. To build. You, you, it's like oil aray. You make, you're making a, a, you're making a rule. But I think <laughs> that it has the width already. Right now, when the, the three together, I think the halacha is it's that... it's the hinges, it's part, it's one. It, it, not just the hinges. It, if it was very, very thin, you wouldn't be allowed to open it. But there's a minimum oh. amount that it's thick. That it's already a mechitza, even if it's one. So if it's already a mechitza, even as one, you're just making it... You longer. Longer, that's right. It's already boundary. Like so like I think... To, I'm not actually sure. I, didn't, I haven't measured them. But I, I make sure always to have them up before Shabbat. Oh, Shabbat. Okay. Yeah.